that experience I had with the Disney OS installed on my friend's computer recently was terrible. I mean, the distorted figures, the anomalous videos, the corrupted files, the brightening screen, and the enigma of the operating system trying to consume me whole was terrifying. What a shipwreck. I have been getting nightmares recently over what just happened while using the first version of the Disney OS. But what I'm here to tell you is that there is an operating system much worse than the Disney OS. Today I am going to test out the enigmatic operating system called, Windows code name Saturn. Back in the year 2000, Microsoft released an operating system called, Windows Saturn. Before it was released, it was called, Windows code name Saturn. The operating system was said to have been named after the planet Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun. Ironically though, Saturn is also my favorite one of the solar system's planets. When codename Saturn was released, users who installed it on their computers were welcomed with a seemingly friendly user interface that was revolutionary in the development of Windows technology, an interface that was very innovative. A brand new experience with features such as programs running at lightning speed and that windows opened and closed seamlessly. Though while users marveled at the advancements, there was an undercurrent of an ease, an unspoken understanding that something beyond the surface was at play. Shortly after the release date happened, reports of strange occurrences began to surface. Users claimed to have experienced unexplained crashes, sudden freezes, and glitches that defied conventional troubleshooting. Not to mention users were also reporting strange whispers coming from the speakers and disturbing imagery showing up on the screen. It seemed as if the operating system itself had a mind of its very own. Like its predecessor, codename Jupiter, it has possessed powers beyond human imagination, though with weaker capabilities as compared to those of codename Jupiter. As the unexplained glitches continued, Microsoft was forced to recall Windows Saturn, and the company never spoke of it again. But some say that the Saturn code lives on, hidden deep within the darkest corners of the internet. And if you're not careful, it may just find its way onto your computer, bringing with it a world of terror and darkness that you may never escape. Fast forward to today, I decided to install the operating system on my computer, and whatever I did, I was greeted with a boot screen that showed the planet Saturn with the Windows logo next to it. Again, like its predecessor, codename Jupiter, I was greeted with the Windows 2000 startup sound playing in the background. While using the operating system, everything was normal at first, until I began reporting the same problems that people were reporting back in 2000. Files would randomly disappear and then reappear in the most unexpected places, the screens would often flicker, strange whispers were heard coming from the speakers, and cryptic error messages often displayed. Sometimes disturbing imagery would also show on the background every time I'm not looking at the screen. As I was seeing these strange glitches unfold within the system itself, my thoughts were shifting towards those times when I had been testing out operating systems like Windows Codename Series or Jupiter. The glitches also reminded me of that time when my friend was installing the Disney operating system on his computer and I had to come to check but the glitches intensified to the point where the Disney OS's Enigma tried to consume my mind, only to fail because I had installed patches to it. Well this time, I tried to uninstall the system, but it kept sending out cryptic error messages telling me to stop, until then, I managed to successfully uninstall the operating system without crashing my computer screen or ruining it, just with a sigh of relief. To this day, the nightmare of the Windows code name Saturn continues to haunt some people to this day, even people who dared to install it on their computers would never feel comfortable to install it again, even the memory they had would appear in their very own nightmares soon.